All right, Aeropox version three. So as you can see, I went back to the totes rather than the buckets. Just running through a mist cycle right now. Let me switch it back to auto. Just to get an idea of how thin that mist is. I mean, it really is very fine. So major changes, found these stainless steel mist nozzles. I'm hoping they last a little bit more than the brass ones. Overall, the brass ones, you get about two or three months. Um, you can try cleaning them out, but I, I started noticing the, the actual spray mist is not, not, not as fine after you clean them. So overall, they just break down. So we'll see if these ones fare any better. But you know, still the best ones are the ones that come with the Mist King kick that are uh, made out of plastic, but they're highly more expensive. So as you can see, the tote build is complete. I have two lined up and a third one on the way. Uh, basically, all they have is two ports inside of here. You can see top one being where the high pressure comes in, the spray, and the bottom one being the drain. So you can see over here the drain system goes to a pump. The reason we run a pump is so I can drop these totes to the ground and get that larger headspace to the light. And then the high pressure line going to that Miss King uh, controller over there. The control unit itself is about 100 bucks. Let's you do a repeat cycle timer. Uh, a lot of the kits don't come with this, they come with a different one. So just caution if you buy the Miss King kit, the one that comes with it will not do a repeat. Other than that, too, not too many other changes. I mean, we have this uh, LED up here, which is the new Spider King. Um, this is the first end to end grow that I'll be doing with it. So we'll let everyone know how that turns out, and you'll be able to see it as I post more videos. These seedlings are White Widow. They're probably about somewhere between two and three weeks. Um, they spent a little bit too much time in the seedling tent. As you can see, there's some, uh, some rot, and they're looking kind of stemmy. But overall, I think they're coming back to life. I can see some good new growth at the top here. So I think they'll be okay in the long run. All right, uh, not too much else has changed in the tent. Just did a thorough cleaning, less oil, Smells nice and uh, pine tree in here now, and uh, I'll post another video update next week. And I'm hoping these plants actually show a difference. So, talk to you then.